Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye, here with another episode of Harvest Moon, DS Cute. Alright, another another few days of autumn, I hope you enjoyed the last episode, even though I was a little bit flustered with all the cutting we have to do. Let's see if we have a rainy day tomorrow. I like the irony, like, as well, since I, I gave you that bonus cutscene with uh, Celia, and it was it was uh, a rainy day <laughs> in that in that uh, cutscene. The weather that I'm so lusting after, because there's so many cutscenes that are locked behind that particular weather pattern. Then yeah. <laughs> So, we might do another hard event at the end of this episode from from the boy version of the game. Um, but it is Sunday and there's still a lot of cutscenes I have not gotten with Potpourri and with Rick. So, I guess I'll try to activate those. It's actually another one that I forgot to activate with Potpourri. I, I thought I activated it, but I guess I, I didn't actually. <laughs> Maybe I'm just remembering the past, like, activating it sometime in the past. Okie dokes, we got some corn. I can just harvest the middle. And we can save this for... For whatever. We could sell, uh, the old corn. Alright, this is level 3. Is this level 4 or level 3? This is level 4. We are exchanging that. For that. More profitable corn. Okie doke. Let me... Hmm. Today is a Rick day, so we do want to give him some small boiled eggs. Let's see. You got plenty of these. No, you're not getting all 62, though. Let's see. How's he doing on affection? Love eggs, especially spa boiled eggs. Ooh, we just hit, we just hit twenty thousand, which is his uh, his blue range. <laughs> Let's see, can we activate his blue heart of it today? We get that. That'd be great. That'd be good. Nope, it's a Sunday rainy day. Screw you, game. <laughs> uh, gonna have, I'm gonna have a rain curse before I'm just like, all right, I hate the rain. I'm just gonna have it every day be sunny. So. I never have to, like, worry about my animals getting rained on, but now I really, really want rain. Alright, Potpourri is at full effect, or full friendship as well. So we could potentially get some random events with her. Okie doke. Um, I don't believe I watered my mushrooms. What are these? Lots of junk. Ooh. Oh! So many things happening! <laughs> oh! Ow! We got a green harvest spray. This is the last one, I believe? Is it? Is it the last one? Patty. Let me look for green. Yeah, Patty's the last green sprite that we need to unlock. Um, so that's pretty much like placing 50,000 items into the shipping bin. Obviously the fishing team has been helping us with that total and plus all the other crap we've been shipping. All the past tea leaves that we've shipped. Or sold to Van at least. And plus all the crops that we keep chucking in the bin every day. I'm back! Hold on, thank you so much! I love whoever I can! Alright, we, we'll get to do a sprite a sprite party today. With the green team this time. And like we almost got all of the red team unlocked, so... That's exciting! Getting, getting all the, all the buddies. And I feel like we're, we're getting very close to getting, um, Indigo team as well. They're just, they're just fishing at a fevered pace. And having a lot of sprite parties and probably nothing for a while. I'll just be foaming at the mouth trying to, just try to get, like, the last purple sprite at the end of this LP. All these yams of all different levels that I'll be able to sell for much profit. 
Yeah, we're getting tons of money, like... We're at like 7 million now? Like, I just feel like we, we, we we're just at 6 million. Now look where we're at. One strawberry for you. You gotta get your gift total to 500. Oh, see you, Milan. So you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Cool. Alright, that's done. I guess, I guess we can say hi to Leia. Leia, you are not here. <laughs> Why did I just, like, went to the inn? Out of, a uh, habit. I have one medium fish for you. Can I have it, Milan? Thank you, I'm so pleased. Milan, make yourself at home. This isn't my house, though. My house is somewhere really deep under the sea. Oh, when are you gonna go to your actual home? Your mom's probably worried. Kinda reminds me, like, some of the plot of, like, Ari Ferretta. Where they just, like, return mermaid girl to the mommy. Did I just- I just put that on accident. Okay, let me go inside while I think about what to do. Um, there's some events I want to get. There's one that I forgot about that I can activate between 10 and 11. I don't think we activated that before. It's just my memory is like telling me that I have, but I think that's just childhood me <laughs> remembering the cutscene. I think I'm- am I saving these? 17. Alright, but we have some time so we could take care of our animals. I guess I guess just wait in the bathhouse. I don't think there's any sheep I gotta shear. Like we did that recently. Pet the butt. Pet, 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 pet. Do, 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 do. Can I get to red? Then the limited time. Alright, that's good. I'm happy now. Chuck you on the ground unceremoniously. Uh, I could have gotten the green, I probably should have, but oh. spilt milk. All you guys are naked. Not gonna worry about that. Alright, everything's watered. Um we need to make a curry for sky tonight, so I better do that. Another red curry. He likes that enough. I blow my nose, of course, because I always get stuffy when I start recording. For the last time, no change, also no change. Alright, can I like get closer to the path? Alright, 940. And that'll that'll be like a perfect time to just go back to the sprite tree. And if we exit, we might get an event. Yeah. A bit exciting. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very tired from last night. Um I decided to just like heck it and start streaming on Twitch. Like I'm, I'm just like thinking too hard about it, so I just like set things up real quick and then I Started to press record or press stream. It went out. It went pretty well. All things considering. All right. So it's between ten and eleven. The event. Uh, do I need to hire out any sprites? So I would like to hire out the fishing team again. They're like almost maxed out. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna uh, be at peak performance soon. All right, let's see if we can get an event. Oh, yep, we got this event. Yeah, between 10 to 11 on a Sunday, sunny day, popery at 200 plus friendship, and it's also required that you're not married as well, or else uh, these kids won't be kids anymore. <laughs> Spending all your time studying is bad for your body. Come on, let's play. <laughs> Popery, you're just a child at heart. She's pretty young compared to all like the bachelorettes. What should we play, old lady? Oh, don't call her that. She's like, probably just finished puberty. 
<laughs> She's not much that much older than you. <laughs> Hurry, old lady. Kate, I'm about to push you in that pond. <laughs> Popery is too. You mean ma'am. <laughs> I don't know. If someone called me old lady at like Potpourri's age, I I wouldn't be like, call me ma'am instead. Um, I think I think um the translation like in Japanese they called her like like Obasan or something, which is like grandma. And I think in the or they called her auntie. Either Obasan, like grandma, or they called her auntie. And Popery wanted them to call her like Onesan, like sis, like big sis. Make her like. Because she feels like she should be referred to as younger. Hey, did I say something bad? These are whispering to each other. You keep calling her old lady, right? You, you did it too, Kate. And you do the same, Kate. You said it first, so just, I just followed it! It's all your fault! An old lady is an old lady after all. She's not old! Look at Romana! <laughs> you too? Uh oh. <laughs> Fine, I'm <laughs> leaving! Oh no, Poppery just melts! <laughs> kind of like reminds me of my sister. <laughs> she was just like, if she got made fun of like, like any time, she was just like, she would just melt. She wouldn't like, snap back or anything. Oh, Popery. Oh, she runs off. What should I do? She left. She was crying. It's your fault, Hugh. What? My fault? You are calling your old lady too, Kate. What? You did it! You did it, Hugh! What nerve! You both did it! Humph! Humph! Now they're not talking to each other. It's stupid arguing like this. Yeah. Let's leave. Yeah, let's go. And they run off too. Oh, poor poor Marie. She just... She just wanted to play and then she got... She got made fun of. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Well, that was that was a cutscene, Potpourri and the kids. Um, that's also a girl version exclusive event as well. Um, you can't get that in the boy version. Although I don't really see why not. <laughs> it's just a cute little little event. All right. Well, maybe you could try the one with Rick as well. Have a two for one. I do want to get the one with Rick sooner rather than later, just because it's like the the fall season exclusive event. Ooh, um, I actually got a gots. Can buy some things. Not sure if I can actually buy stuff tomorrow. Um, just because I know in like the Mineral Town world, I think the 18th is like the fall horse race. I think sometimes, like, the stores are closed on, like, their festival days. Even though the festival isn't in the actual game, it's just, like, they, they close the stores down still. Alright, we need some of this. We can actually afford a lot of this. Look at five. Alright, puts it on our shelf. That doesn't do us much good. Yeah, I can't build any more of these, can I? It's kind of weird that they give me the option. Also build a bathroom and a restroom. <laughs> kind of want to build a gold bathroom but a gold restroom just to be frivolous, even though you don't actually see the inside of it. I think the door is like a different color. Maybe make it gold, like versus stone. Mm, what am I doing? This is not the shelf. Not but gold lumber and fridge. All right, we got five more for five more trips. All right, let's try the one. Event that I was trying to get so hard with Rick. Uh, these crops are fine. Is this tree dead yet? <laughs> I'm kind of concerned that like I probably put this way too close in the corner. I probably could have shifted it one over. And nope, didn't get it. How weird. Yes, yeah, so let's just walk from the main pathway to Vesta's. 
guess I'll just have to try next week. All you can do is try. We got one event. Two, three. Maybe also try to get the one that we can get in the evening. Things clean. We got some red magic grass. Boink. And I guess we'll go back to the bathhouse. And marinade for a bit while we wait for Sky. Yes. Or at least until six. We'll, we'll check the bar to see if we can get another cutscene. I did stream the other night, just playing like a wonderful life. Playing very casually at first. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how many nights I'll be able to do that a week. I, I, I want to get into the routine of it. And like, I don't mind streaming while like I don't really necessarily have privacy. So like my boyfriend will probably be in the room and he might be like screaming <laughs> at his game, but... Yeah, like, there's no way I'll be able to, like, shut about for two to six hours for a stream. It just is what it is. It was fun, just, like, playing A Wonderful Life. Just normally. You're, like, playing normally for at least, like, the first year before we start getting to, like, the grindy part. But hopefully, hopefully, like, by then I'll probably just do that off-screen mostly. Maybe I'll I'll stream Rune Factory 5, although a lot of people are streaming Rune Factory 5. A lot of people have gotten early access to Rune Factory 5, so a lot of this information is probably like old news for people. Not sure how many people would like be interested in tuning in. Plus, like, I don't really like uh, watching or playing or like showing off games that like have just come out. Sometimes I feel like like, people need a chance to play it themselves as well. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, I guess people are looking for it. Maybe they just want to watch, like, a little bit of it before they decide they want to purchase it. <laughs> Alright, uh, what is this next event I'm trying to get? Lee. It happens at the bar. I'm trying to see, like, what time. <laughs> No, it's between- it's usually between 6 and 10. I'm gonna exit the bath and try at the bar. Nope. Alright, well that's kind of weird. <laughs> like, a lot of these events aren't activating. Like, I wonder what's... What's holding them up? See, what's, what's the event supposed to be activated on? Yeah, it's between 6 and 10 on the Sunday. Hope we got 200 plus friendship. We have all those requirements back and relax. Why not? I'll get I'll get a valid in nature. Drink that up. This is one of a kind. Nice having a drink with you now then. <laughs> is it? Alright. Back to the bath. Trying to get that purple sprite. My uh, OBS program doesn't crash either. I think um, streaming might have like freaked it out a little bit because when I open it up again to like record, it freaking blue screen my computer. I'm like, oh, what happened here? I think with the like the Elgato and everything hooked up to it, probably like made it freak out. Although it seemed to work just fine. Although I didn't really, it's hard to double check the audio and like. Check the syncing levels. Unless you do like a test recording. <laughs> I had to do like a few test recordings for a wonderful life. I'm just like... 
at, a, at like usual volume level that I have for this game and I'm just like, what? I can't hear myself. I sound like really far away. <laughs> Forgot how loud like GameCube games can be. It's so weird how like the audio levels can differ that much. Meanwhile, like Mega Man 64, like I'm maxing out my audio and I can barely hear the game. All right, here you go. What a wonderful woman you are, thank you. If I take this road, mumble, mumble. Do -do -do. No, that's not my house. That's not my house. Right, so we did everything for the day. Now to repeat it. Now to repeat it for tomorrow. I'm happy you got one event today. Strawberries. Probably sell old ones. Now we're just forming a new stack. Water that. Water that. Water all that. Looks like we're gonna have some new tomatoes soon. Or yams, of course. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick so many yams. I kind of want to just tear these down. Pretty sure I could probably uh, plant like more, more croppings of uh. What you might call it of yams inside the the waterfall waterfall zone. Ooh, I totally forgot. Um, I could have gotten a cutscene last night if I <laughs> exited my house late at night. I guess we'll get it tonight. I don't think there's any. Yeah, beautiful weather. Yeah, we should be able to plant stuff in the waterfall. Oh boy. <laughs> um. I have to like get rid of this one. For, like the next level after this that we're gonna do. Oh boy. I don't even want to pick these anymore. <laughs> it's too much work. I'm lazy. I like it when the sprites do the work for me. Oh well. Money. Alright, so today is a Monday, which means only Mary is here for the Mineral Town candidates, so I don't really have to worry about gifting anyone today. My watering cans, I don't chop anything I don't want to. If you got us. Oop. <clears throat> oh, see, Milan, so you came. I'll accept it, thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offer you gave me. Well, toodles. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, now to organize my bags. It's a lot. One. I should talk a mm. okay, we can get rid of these level 10 strawberries. Now we have level 11 ones in our bag. That can go doing level 18 next, I suppose. Yeah, we're selling all these. To the seed maker and bags of level 18. Now we're gonna turn these into level 19. And we should be able to turn the level 19 ones into level 20s at the end of the season. Where are my seeds? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. I expelled too much stamina to do that. And I think that's it. But maybe uh, a fish. Need a, need a fish for uh, for Leia. If I can catch one here. <laughs> I got a rainbow trout! Lucky! It's a large fish, which means Leia will love it. Oh, what a big fish! It's my favorite! Thank you! Hold on, make yourself at home. This isn't my house, though. <laughs> my mushroom soon. Being a little bit excessive by making sure I have like enough mushrooms before I decide to do the level up. It's chicken and duck. And then go is it bathhouse or visit Kira? <laughs> Oops, I meant to pick up the egg, not the cot. Okay, whatever. Chicken is forgiven me now. Alright, happy deck. Alright, all the sheep are naked. All the sheep are naked. Alright. Well, let's, let's go to the bathe for like a little bit and get our stamina up before we dive into the hot spring. Ooh, today's also a van day. I wonder if I should get some more body geysers. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch in the fridge, but <laughs> not sure. What is any van events that I'm missing as well? I know I can get one in winter, and I think we got we got most of them. At least the ones that are like at his store. One more bath and I'll go, to, go say hi to Van. <laughs> hi, Hugh. You were very mean to Potpourri yesterday. Shame on you. I don't know. I guess he's still a kid. <laughs> Sometimes kids are, like, brutally honest or... They just don't, like, pick up on any social cues and they just say, like, really mean things. Like, <laughs> without meaning it. They just, like, state it as they see it. Sometimes it's just based on some preconception that they, like, might have picked up from their parents or their friends. Welcome to my shop. I'll just buy 99 of these. And 99 of these! Why not? Because I, I, I am chugging through them, so I will definitely need them eventually. But I should have enough for the trip. Yeah, 32, that's, that's plenty. Okay, let's let's go say hi to Kira real quick. Hmm. Slap that butterfly. I say real quick, but <laughs> it does take a while to get down there. Probably find the stairs. I don't really feel like smashing all these rocks. Right, where are we saving? We're saving over file one today. Yes, please. Let's overwrite file one. Mm -hmm. I found the stairs and I found the pitfall. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get down to like go down a good distance. I'm being very stingy with this right now. Better. Like, all right, 86. That's pretty good. Get rid of this chicky. Uh, I guess I'll pick the body geyser. I don't really need to, but I'll destroy the cicadas. 
I feel like I have a very good chance at finding another hole on this floor. Just based off the floor plan, there's a lot of open space. Hello. I'm really glad I got like a little bit of opportunity to record. I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to record for a few days, but... Like, my boyfriend's home. He has like... He has a lot of days off. But he... Just happened to decide to help our friend Steve uh, move furniture into his new place. So I was, I was quite surprised that he decided to move. He was like, yeah, a house. Like, with his parents, but I guess he wanted, like, more privacy. I guess, like, with his, with his girlfriend and y'all. I want a little bit more privacy. Privacy. I mean, me and my boyfriend wanted it. <laughs> it was hard, like, living with my parents, because, like, they would always impose these, like, rules, because they're like, oh, it's... our roof, our rules, and they'd always, like... Like, just ignore privacy. Like, want, want like, favors to be done, or... Like, they wanted to eat dinner together, like, all the time. I was like, but I'm- I'm busy with something. <laughs> Alright, then. Maybe I can walk around here, even though it's, like, horribly inconvenient. Wow, there's, like, no holes that are convenient for me. Because we're just slowly going down the stairs. Okay, finally. A hole. Kind of curious how uh, our friend's new place is like. I imagine it's not as big as the house he was in. I also felt kind of weirded out because, like, the house, like, he helped pay for it. Because <laughs> he was actually helping run his uh, parents' business, but I don't think that business survived the pandemic, which is. I don't know how they're paying off the house. <laughs> Or if it's already paid for. Uh, yeah, thank you. I mean, his girlfriend, like, got a new job. So they're just willing to support themselves away from their parents. Not go down the level yet. What? A butterfly? No. <laughs> Ooh, a hole. <laughs> a hole! <laughs> It'll save here. the floor that we were on. 21. I'm definitely not going to stairway my way to the back to 255, but I'll probably save. I don't want to be smart here. Being very smart. It's gonna be a little bit tricky getting to like dropping like 20 to 30 floors. Sometimes the game's stingy. I think the game would be stingy enough. Oh. This is a hole. There's, there it is. Ooh, yeah, okay. Load. Alright, let's save here. Now that the hole is uncovered. Do this shenanigans. 234, that's hardly anything. Now, oh, great, now Harvest Garden is gonna be like, Congratulations, you got to floor 300, rather. That's it, good luck making it to the bottom. Thank you, I, I don't know. <laughs> It's gonna be a little bit more generous than that. That's really far. And it wipes out the whole bar. Whole stamina. It's not technically a bar, it's just a point system, but still. This might be like the worst level to try to like drop down to Kira. 250! Out th perfect! Butterflies are dodging me like crazy. 
I'd also probably save if I fall down a hole. Please. I can find the stairs before the chicky gets me. Uh, not. Oh, really? I forgot. <laughs> forgot, like, there's no collision box on the stairs. They can just do whatever the heck they want. I'm not really thirsty right now. <laughs> All those salty pretzels that I had for lunch. <sighs> Gotta keep hydrated. I should get one of those bottles where, like, my boyfriend got one. Got it from his friends at work. Um, it shows, uh, like, the time on the bottle and, like, how low your water level should be by then. It's like a big jug, too. It's like, wow. I feel like I probably don't drink that much water. I might... Like, 24 ounce? I might drink, like, two of those in a day. They always, like, expect you to drink a lot more. I should probably drink more water, lest I get... Kidney stones. Those sound painful. <laughs> when people describe it. Ow. Ah, uh, the butterflies are coming. Blasted butterflies! Ching! Ching! Oh yeah, feels good. Feels good! Oh god, <laughs> got cornered by the butterfly. And I know I'm probably gonna drop down a hole trying to get that last dark cicada. Unblock here. Who keeps putting the boulder back? <laughs> Who keeps putting the boulder back every day? That was some strong words for them. Weird magic. Oh god. Okay, I was like, I got the lumber out of my fat out of my shelf, didn't I? Hum hum hum. She seems really happy. Alright, about like five thousand more to go, so we essentially like got her up. What would usually have her after like a hard event? All right, let's get out of here. Air. And eh, whatever. Boy, my hammer. Back to the hot springs. That was a nice little quick expedition. Have gone on lately, other than the stream, not much. Just man, I've just been thinking of all the nostalgia that I've that I'm just experiencing with a wonderful life. Like, man, this is my childhood. I just remember looking at like an issue of Nintendo Power that was like showing off a wonderful life, and I'm just like, where have you been my whole life? <laughs> I would have loved to have a farming sim game. I was like obsessed with like farm animals when I was a kid. Like, I would have loved playing like Harvest Moon 64. <laughs> and I guess all the Game Boy Harvest Moon games as well. I didn't have an SNES as a kid. We started with our first uh, home console. Probably should exit the bath. Our first home console was uh, a Nintendo 64. We had like Game Boys before that. Yeah, I would have love to have those games as a kid. I guess we just didn't really know they existed, though. Very hard to, like... It wasn't really advertised on TV, and of course, like, none of my friends would talk about, like, Harvest Moon. Like, back then it was all about Pokemon, and, like, Pokemania, I think, happened... I think it was between kindergarten and, like, first grade for me? By first grade, like, everyone was into Pokemon. Oops, no, that's not from that. Like, why was that the first thing I took out of my bag? 
not want to drop that. No siree. But yeah, we were, we were super obsessed with Pokemon as well, though. Got all the games. Like, me and, brothers, me and my brother, like, wanted to collect all the cards. We'd always beg for booster packs. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I'm just like, wow. That was kind of a waste of money. Even though they, like, are kind of valuing the old cards, like, pretty highly. Um. You don't really get that much money for them unless you have, like, some weird holographic that's, like, first edition. And, like, like a misprint. <laughs> like the Shadowless Charizard. Like, first edition Shadowless Charizard. It was, like, the very, very, very first printing of, like, Charizard that, like, was missing some details that they just edited in on, like, the next printing. But just like thinking back on it, it's like, wow, if I just like, maybe if I didn't ask for as many Pokemon cards, maybe I could have gotten like more video games. I didn't really know what, like, I didn't really know what I wanted. <laughs> it's mostly just like, I want Pokemon or I want Zelda. Those are like the two games that we always asked for. <sighs> I think Mario as well. That always usually be lumped in because they'd always advertise it like, oh, you're buying a Nintendo for your kids? They'll probably like this game, like Luigi's Mansion or something, or Mario Sunshine. <laughs> and yeah, it's really hard to like collect those old games anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we like went to the mall, and there was like a few, like retro game stores, and like looking inside them, I'm just like wow, like the selection has been like super picked over. It's just like the bones left over, and I like Game Dude as well. I used to like go to Game Dude, which was like. A used game store that like had cartridges of like all eras. And like after the pandemic, I feel like everyone just got their stimulus check and just like bought out all the cartridges because like can't find can't find retro games anymore. <clears throat> so like you're only stuck with emulating if you don't already own it. Alright. 10 p.m. Let's go say hi to Sky. And Red Curry. <clears throat> what a wonderful woman you are, thank you. If I take this road, mumble mumble. Alright, uh, let's see if we can get an event. There we go. <laughs> I remember this time. Hey, like I have like a an appropriate outfit for this like shindig here. Good evening. Good evening. Ron Ridge. Guess what? All our team members are here. Yay! We're about to have a dance party to celebrate. We want you to come to Milan. Uh, I'm there. Of course I'll always come. At least I don't have to worry about storms like the next day. Alright, the more the merrier. And they go and kidnap us. To some random beach. Yay, I'm glad you came. Wanna dance with me? Oh, Patty, you're like the last one I... Last one I got. Okay, cut the chit-chat. The dance party's starting now. Yeah. It's starting. I get to hear this music again. So this is like, what, the third team that we've unlocked? So I have, what, four more to go? We already saw- we saw yellow and orange. So yeah. Probably gonna see red next. And then imagine indigo, blue, and then purple. That's how I imagine the order's gonna go. Woo! That 
was fun. Great to have everyone back. Milan, thank you so much. For saving everyone. Thank you. Pretty late. You better get some rest. Good night, Milan. Yay. It's Tuesday. Karen Day, which means don't need to woo anyone. But we'll still... Curry. Get some curry for... Hi. Alright, so what are we doing today? Probably the same as we've, we've always been doing. We could do one more day and probably... End things off there on that note. Ooh, I probably need to buy a sheep. I actually need to buy a sheep today, I think. I hope that's today, not tomorrow. Uh, just like equip my scissors, like telling me to please buy sheep. I have some uh, random sheep that can be donated to the festival today. I might actually have a sheep that's right this year. I don't actually remember. <laughs> I know that they were kind of staggered, but I feel like I was shearing them the same day as like Dr. Cram was here. Yeah, I need to make sure I have a sheep ready today. Um, let's see. They're all naked, so... Which one can I sell? Being real, I should probably sell one close-ish. But... 19s might be a good candidate as well. I know this side is usually... I just sell level 20. And this side usually, like, gets all fluffy first, but... Okay. Well, what am I doing first? All my other chores to attend to. That. Okay, I got eight toadstools. I feel like that should probably be enough. It's like more than enough I need to like upgrade the next toadstool level, so I'm gonna toss this in there. I'll also do the shiitakes. Well, that might be kind of a gamble, but I really want to level them up to the next level. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stamina's a bit low. I know, I'll drink a body geyser. It's just keep myself chopped off. The toadstool seeds that look very much like turnips. One. So we do have to water them. The others. Still waiting on a Matsutake, a large one. Before I start collecting the little ones. I think all these are good to have in my bag. Guess I'll do things a little differently. I'll just pet the chicken first. Chicken and the duck. <laughs> Go. Lazy there. Why is this? Time to water this again. <laughs> Oh. Got more money. Always use the money. I wonder if I could uh, be able to build some gold buildings soon, actually. I think like 
a gold lumber shed, or maybe a silo, I think, is like 10 million to build with gold lumber. I didn't want to, like, redo my buildings with, like, gold material <laughs> just to show off. My vanity. My vanity makes me want to go for gold. Oh, Scottish. Oh my goodness, my bags are just full of yams of all different levels. Oh, it's you, Milan, so you came. I'll accept it, thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. You're almost approaching 90. Okie doke. Um, I guess we'll sell some things for starters. in my basement just in case something happens. Probably just get rid of uh, both sides. In case I have like a oh. Like, a, a state of, like, laziness, or just forget. Have some convenient amnesia, I'll have, like, a level 19 EM down here. Alright, so I don't think there's any events that we're going for today. Karen, although maybe I, I should sweep uh, my list to be sure. I do want to get a fish though for Leia. I'm so lucky. Can I get another rainbow trout, please? No, that's not. <laughs> Does she like small fish? Medium fish were 500. I'm not sure if small goes down to like 300 affection points. I'd like a large one if possible. Ron. No. It's either like. It's either really tiny or big. <laughs> Char makes my biggest char. I'll have to live with that. Oh, there it is. I'm just like, it's all over the place here. Can I have it, Milan? Thank you, I'm so pleased. Milan, make yourself at home. This isn't my house, though. Right, we already know what she says next. There's a rumbling car outside. <laughs> Mm. All right, is there any Karen cutscenes? Let me just do a little sweep of my my guide. Not really. There's so many cutscenes that require candidates to be married. Or I can even think about like activating them, or if they require rain. The game doesn't want to give me that. Yeah, there's like nothing else with Karen. Wow. Oh, what can you do? Okay, hopefully you get some like different weather patterns over the winter. <laughs> it's just gonna give me storms and be like, screw you, game. Like, I just wanted some, like, simple rain, and now they're just throwing storms at me. Mm 
Probably gotta start dinner soon. <laughs> Have some uh, beef defrosting. So, gonna probably make like a meat sauce, spaghetti. Spaghetti is like always our go to. Either with like Alfredo sauce or just like tomato sauce with meat. Easy enough to make. Although our Alfredo takes a lot of steps because like we have to grill the chicken and then like we're also doing broccoli on the side and then like sauteing mushrooms and also gotta make our white sauce while also boiling our water for the spaghetti. We have like every burner going <laughs> trying to like cook everything at the same time to have it all come together at the end. It's an endeavor. Like, me and my boyfriend like both have to work on it. It's just like too many things to do at once. Actually, should I check my trees? I think I should probably ship one of these. Give me your toss. Great. Apple. Do I still have the peach? Let me check out my shipping list. Uh, so I do, I do need to ship banana and orange. <laughs> Probably just do that just to get it off my mind. But I still will need more of them to craft recipes with. Our fish are almost there. <laughs> Thirty-four thousand. We get get, get to fifty thousand. How are they doing on catching different species? Halfway with the Amago trout. I, I need to get to a total of ten thousand. So they're like they're almost halfway there. Uh, the banana. I'm actually kind of. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Or die. Ship it out. Orange, banana, done. And that will be on our shipping list. We gotta do some more crops as well. But yeah, it's funny you can actually look at this. Like, look how many levels. Like. It keeps track if you ship like a normal or like if you put it in like the cannery maker. It checks it off if you've done all of it. And of course, like bananas can't be like super sized, so that those are X'd out. I yeah, thank god they don't require you like fill out the whole thing to marry the harvest goddess. That would just be insane. I think you just yeah, just have to complete the shipping list. Like there's no way you'd have to like try to do one of each level. I should probably try growing a large crop soon. Yeah, maybe next year, actually. I think with, like, with the yams being at, like... Well, they'll be, like, probably at, like, level 35 or so? 30? They do grow slower in my basement. I gotta, like, take that into account. But yeah. Level 30 yams. Still pretty good, I I'd say. Just having a whole field of them while, while having the harvest sprites just harvest everything for me will be just wonderful. I'll eventually get to a billion gold and be able to buy the most expensive items in the game. Alright, one more bath! We're almost there! <laughs> I'm kind of fading! I need to go to bed a lot earlier tonight. Ugh. There, there, there's like some things I do to do work on and wow I gotta like respect my character and just like get the items ready for raid so I can just get back from work and log on and just be ready to go alright I think we're good is everything It's like, let me in! Left me alone for too long. Ooh, what a wonderful woman you are, thank you! Sky is at a one is, is at one big red heart. Now he can still 
Will him. I mean, we can max him out, but if we want, we can probably just ignore him. <laughs> Might be good to, like, save on time by just ignoring him, but, I mean, we still have to, like, we want our Harvest Sprite team to work to, like, max efficiency. Oh, I forgot to buy a sheep. Oh, man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, it's fine. We can just skip the sheep festival and do it next year. Even told myself, and then I got distracted with all the frivolous things. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can manipulate that. Unless. <laughs> no. No. There's no way I could wake up at like 11. It's like as soon as I exit the building, like Rick is gonna be there. Oh well. I mean, there's always next year. We still got a poison soup next year, so. Like we're still gonna be doing, still gonna be doing that festival day, or at least we'll be passing it up. All right. Well, hopefully I remember to do that in the future. You don't think we're ready to stop here though? Definitely need to get a good night's rest. Save over file one. Save complete. Okie doke. I hope you guys had a relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.